Hi, this is Spencer Ingley from the AnyFish development team. Today I'm going to show you in this video tutorial how to create fin texture images to use in your AnyFish uh, animation project. So basically I'm going to run through step by step uh, everything you need to do from uh, copying the image from your fish photo uh, and placing it on the dorsal fin guide and then actually copying it over into your AnyFish projects folder. Uh, so the first thing you need is a good photo of your fins. So this can be done by uh, spreading fins on a live fish and taking a lateral photo, uh, as you can see here with this beautiful brachyrhaphis. Uh, and, and basically what you need is, is just good color, good lighting, uh, and good clarity uh, for this image uh, so that you can copy this and, 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 and use it as the actual fin texture in your AnyFish animation. So the first thing you want to do is sort of clean up the fin image. So I'm going to run, run through this process with a dorsal fin, and this applies to any of the other fin textures that you want to, to apply to your AnyFish animation. So what I've done is gone through and I've already removed uh, this pen using a clone stamp tool. Uh, there was another pen over here, I removed that as well. I've also gotten rid of some of the spectral highlights uh, just to clean up this image and prepare it for in it for, the, for use in the animation. I'll show you really quick how to remove those spectral highlights uh, and what I mean by spectral highlights. So this right here is, is a, sort of a grouping of spectral highlights. So these are basically reflections of, from the light off of, in this case, the wet scales of this fish. <clears throat> so there are a couple ways to do this. I'll show you one way, uh, or two ways really quickly. One way is the clone stamp tool, uh, which is right here in Photoshop. Uh, basically what you do is you do option, hold down option, and then click your mouse, and then you have selected an area that you wish to sort of clone onto what in this case is a spectral highlight. So this you can sort of go in and manually remove uh, the spectral highlights and have to match uh, the actual texture of the fish skin. Uh, another way is by using the lasso tool in, uh, in the content aware function. Uh, this isn't available in all editions of Photoshop, but it is uh, in the newer CS versions. So basically what you do is you use the lasso tool to select the spectral highlight, go to edit, fill, uh, you select content aware here, click OK, and it sort of uses that clone, a, a similar process uh, to the clone stamp basically, but it, it sort of fills in that area for you and prepares it for the animation. Uh, so this, this whole process is, 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 is particularly useful if you're interested in looking at uh, the effect of different shapes uh, or colors or patterns uh, that are present on, on the fins of your fish for mate choice or speciation or whatever the interest is. So in this case, uh, this, this is a male Brachyrhaphis terebensis, and they have these spotting patterns on the fins. So if I were interested, for example, if that has to do uh, with mate recognition or mate choice, uh, or species recognition, I could uh, I could go in with the clone stamp and remove these spots, or add larger spots, or change the color of the spots to test various hypotheses. So there's virtually uh, unlimited options there in terms of uh, the stimulus you can create for uh, for for your for your tests. So in order to create the the thin texture, what you first want to do is make a selection on this image. Uh, so there are a couple ways to do this, but uh, the sort of the preferred way in this case is using the, the pen tool. So there's uh, the actual pen tool allows you to sort of click and connect the dots and it's a little more rigid. Uh, I prefer using the freeform pen tool, which allows you to just sort of draw uh, a little more accurately around the image, uh, around the outline of the, of the dorsal fin. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. I'm not going to be extremely careful just because this is an example. Uh, but this will give you an idea of what of what you want to do when preparing your own thin textures. So one thing you do want to include is a small segment from the body. The size doesn't actually matter because most of this will be cut out of the animation. Uh, but it's useful when you're lining up the fin with the fin guides to have a little bit of the body left over. So just about there is good. And I'm going to follow the edge of the fin around. Again, I'm not being extremely careful just because this is an example. So you follow your edge around and get back down to where you started. 
So now you've outlined the fin and part of the body here, what you want to do is on the right hand panel, uh, currently I'm on, I'm, I'm on the layers tab, but what you want to do is select the paths tab here. And the work path here is what basically what the work that I just did, the, the pen outlining that I just did. So I'm going to right click on that or double tap if you're using a Mac trackpad uh, and do make a selection. Click OK here. Basically what I've done is selected that area that I just outlined. So as you can see, this is sort of functioning independently of, of the rest of the of, of the rest of that image. And so this, this allows me to copy and paste this onto the dorsal fin guide. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. So now that I have that selected, I'm just gonna do edit copy or command command C or control C depending on whether or not whether you're using a PC or Mac. Uh, and then I'm going to paste that into this dorsal fin guide. So the dorsal fin guide, I already had it opened here just to save some time. But these can be found on the AnyFish wiki uh, under the required software download page, which is located uh, inside the actual wiki uh, user manual. Uh, and these uh, PSD files, that PSD files are available right here. So there's caudal, pectoral, dorsal, and anal fin guides. So just download those and open them up in Photoshop and then you're ready to go. Uh, so basically what this file contains are three layers. So there's uh, a layer, well, now there are three layers because I've added this, uh, a copy and paste of this, this, this fin from my fish. So there are two layers that come uh, preloaded in this P .psd dorsal fin guide file. Uh, one is, I'm just going to sort of show these two files, or these two layers really quick. Uh, so one is just an outline uh, of, of, of the fin. Okay, so this is, the, this is sort of the target shape that you're looking for when you're resizing uh, your dorsal fin for, for your experimental uh, animation. Uh, so basically when you're resizing <clears throat> your, and, re, and, and reshaping uh, your dorsal fin image, you want it to fit within uh, the bounds of this outline because this is the outline that's used in the animation software. Uh, don't worry if it, if it shrinks it down a little bit, you just want it to, to, to fit within those bounds and then it'll be reshaped with the TPS files that we use later. Uh, the other image is just, uh, the other layer is just an image which comes as, as default uh, of, of a piece of lead. In this case, it's a, it's a sword tail, uh, dorsal fin. So that's just to sort of give you an example of, of how you should line up your image. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn that layer off uh, and then <clears throat> line up my fin image as best as possible. To reshape it, uh, and, re and adjust the size, I'm going to go into Edit and select Free Transform. And this just allows you to squish it, stretch it, resize or reshape it however you, however you need to. So what I'm going to do is try to get the sort of this lower margin of the, of the fin lined up with this, uh, with this line right here. And I'm going to squish this in a little bit so it fits within the bounds a little better. And squish this guy a little bit right there. And bring this down just a tad so it fits within those bounds. When you're going to actually save this image, you want to turn off the other layers. You can either delete them or turn them off by just clicking the, the, little, the little eye icon right there. Before doing that, you need to hit Enter, which sort of accepts the... The, the transformation that you just that you just did. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that layer off. So all I'm left with is my actual dorsal fin, and this is lined up perfectly, so that it will be applied correctly to the AnyFish animation once you open up the AnyFish editor. So now that I've done that, I need to save this document. And on a Mac, it, the the option is save for web. On a PC, I believe it's save for web and other uses or something to that effect. Anyway, you select Save for Web, and then you have these options over here, and what you want to select is the PNG 24. Click Save, and then sort of select a location where you want to save that. So in this case, I'm going to rename this any fish as Dorsal Fin Guide Bracky, and just hit Enter. And I've already have that file that exists there. I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. 
and that is that. So the final step is just to copy that image into your AnyFish Projects folder. Uh, so the AnyFish Projects folder contains a number of folders that uh, to which you'll copy your TPS files and your uh, your fish animation texture files and your fin files. So you navigate to the fin folder and copy and paste that PNG file uh, into the fin folder and you are ready to go once you open the AnyFish editor and select that project. Uh, so hopefully this was helpful. Uh, again, you can go through this process for any of the other fins uh, in order to, 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 to swap out uh, from, the from the default uh, fin settings that come pre-installed with, with any fish.